In this video lecture, we're going to talk about the kinetic particle theory. And what this theory uh, basically uh, states is that you can treat matter as as particles, whether they are atoms, whether they are they're molecules, they are compounds, you can treat all of them as tiny particles. So all matter matter is made up of tiny particles. So uh, it's a it's a general theory that could cover everything. So we don't need to go into a lot of detail. Uh, just think of matter as particles and the three different states in which particles could exist. One is a solid state, the other one is a liquid state. And the third is gaseous state. So I'm going to first cover what are the properties of particles in solid state. So if if uh, any uh, substance is in solid state, whether it's made up of molecules or compounds or uh, it has a la lattice of positive metal ions, etc. I'm not really concerned with that. I'm going to treat all of them in a, in a more general way and think of them as as particles that are forming uh, that are present in solid state. So uh, when particles are present in solid state, the first thing is that they would be close together and they would be tightly packed. So that's the first thing. All the particles would be close together, closely grouped together and they would be tightly packed and there's going to be a regular arrangement. They would be neatly packed together. The other thing is when uh, particles are present in solid state, uh, they're going to they're going to have very strong forces of attraction between particles. So the reason why these particles are so tightly packed is because each of the particle is attracting the other particle with a very strong force of attraction, which is then attracting another particle with a very strong force of attraction. So all of them are strongly attracting each other, which is why they're all close together, tightly packed, rigidly fixed in place. Uh, the uh, Another thing about solid state is that particles uh, vibrate to and fro about fixed position. So when pi particles gain energy, uh, for example, if you're talking about this particle, this particle cannot move much because it's strongly held together by all the other particles. They're attracting it, it strongly. So what this particle could do is it could sort of vibrate about its fixed position, but it can't really move much. So whenever particles gain energy they, in solid state, they're going to vibrate to and fro about their fixed position. And in solid state, uh, solid state always has a fixed volume and a fixed shape. Uh, its shape doesn't change and its volume doesn't change much. Uh, they're not very compressible. So if you have a fixed volume and a fixed shape, they, they're going to retain their shape. It's very hard to actually, uh, although it is easy to change the shape when you apply a force, but as long as a solid is present on its own, it's going to retain its shape and its volume. So these are some of the properties of particles when they're present in solid state. We will now discuss uh, this liquid state. In liquid state, particles are slightly more energetic and they're able to move around but not freely. So they can, they can slip and slide over each other because they're more energetic and they can overcome the force of attraction which was keeping them stationary in solid state. So particles are more energetic, they can slip and slide over each other, but they cannot move uh, much. Their movement is limited, they can only slide past each other. So we're going to discuss the properties of uh, particles when they are in liquid state. The first property is that they're loosely packed. So there are some gaps between particles because particles are energetic, they're pushing each other around. So the, which creates some gaps, so they're loosely packed and there's an irregular arrangement because now particles are not orderly arranged. Because they're moving around, slipping and sliding over each other, the arrangement is more irregular. The force of attraction between particles is weaker compared to uh, in solids because now uh, the particles are, are energetic and they can, they can overcome the force of attraction that was holding them together. So the relative force of attraction between particles is weaker. The particles can slip and slide over each other randomly, but not freely. They cannot move in all directions. You can't have particles in liquid state jumping around in all directions. They can just slip and slide past each other. Uh, the last point about liquid state is that uh, the particles have in liquid state, liquids have a fixed volume. So the volume is fixed. So if you buy a liter of uh, a bottle, uh, one liter bottle of water, it's going to remain one liter of uh, water. But the shape is not fixed. If you put it in, in a glass of water, in a glass, and you fill it with water, the shape would change. So the shape is always of the, of the container. So whatever container you put it in, it's going to take that shape. So the shape is no longer fixed, but the volume is still fixed. And uh, liquids are also not very compressible because they have tiny gaps. So they might be compressed slightly, but they're not uh, very, very compressible. So even now compression is only going to be very, very slight. Lastly, we're going to discuss uh, gaseous state. 
so in gas the particles are very energetic and they're freely moving in all directions the force of attraction can be easily overcome because these particles are now extremely energetic so they can easily overcome the forces of attraction that were keeping them together and now they can freely move in all direction the gaps between particles are now much greater compared to liquid and solids and um, uh, the energy is greater and they can freely move in all directions so all the gas particles are just freely randomly jumping around and uh, so I'm going to discuss one by one the properties of uh, particles when they're in gaseous state. So the first thing is that they're far apart, very far apart in reality. Uh, in liquid and solids, they, the particles were very, very close together. The arrangement is irregular, it's random, so they're randomly arranged. Uh, the very weak force of attraction between particles or the force of attraction can be easily overcome because the particles are very, very energetic and the particles can move freely and randomly in all directions so that they are free to move around in all directions they don't have any fixed shape or any volume so the volume and the shape both are not fixed uh, both of these uh, the shape and the volume would be of the container so gases can expand and they can compress uh, and they can fill up any volume that you put a gas into so if you if you release some gas in a room the gas would spread out and occupy the entire room if you put a ga gas molecules in a container, the gas would spread out and it would occupy the entire container. So, so gases have this ability to expand and they can be compressed because they have uh, the particles are far apart. So there are many spaces between particles. So uh, if you compress a gas, the gas particles can come together and vice versa, it can expand as well. So they don't have any fixed shape or any fixed volume.